Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to introduce this uh, new tool that I've added to the Medique Wall Tools number two toolbar. So as you can see, we now have four tools listed here. And again, these tools are what I call tools of convenience. And specifically, this latest one I've added, which is now called the opening tool, is uh, indeed a tool of convenience. So what the way this works is if you have I've gone ahead and constructed some uh, couple walls here added some doors windows and a garage door to demonstrate so all you do is you just go ahead and click uh, this opening tool and when you do that um, as you mouse over each of these uh, openings you'll notice that um, <clears throat> the, well they'll highlight but you'll also notice right below your cursor you should see some text and so what this does for windows is it shows you the type of window that is installed in that opening. And then if you go ahead and click, it will then change to the next um, type. So what you can do is you can actually toggle through, uh, quickly toggle through all of these different window types just by clicking on the window. And <coughs> you know, <coughs> if you go through any other windows, you can do the same thing. So you're not limited to just one window. You can just keep clicking and changing them up. So we've got a uh, fixed awning, and then we've got an awning fixed, and then it cycles back uh, fixed twin awning, and then, okay, so right, we've got a louver, and now we're back to a picture window. So, and then from picture, it'll cycle all the way through again. Uh, but it allows you to quickly uh, change the window type without having to open the edit menu uh, for that window. And, and by the way, you can always open your uh, window edit menu if you like. Let's, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Oh, I actually turned off that toolbar by accident. So let's go turn that back on. And let's put that toolbar back where we had it. Okay, so so yeah, so if you do want to change that with the regular edit menu, no problem. Just go ahead, click the uh, edit opening tool, and go ahead and you've got the full menu. And you know, you can drop down in here and you've got all of your options, of course, listed. Um, but, um, you know, sometimes it might be easier I'm not saying it always is, but it, maybe it's just easier to go around your model instead of opening up each menu for each window. Just go ahead and start clicking and cycle through um, whatever one you want. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at garage doors. Same thing here. Notice I haven't even quit the tool. The, the tool is still active. I'm just going to go over here to garage doors, and <clears throat> you'll notice it says raise panel. So then it'll go to flat panel and glass with raised panel and then glass with flat panel and then over to glass panel full glass panel door and now we've got just a solid door and now we've got no panel okay and then we'll go back to raised panel so see it cycles through all the types there okay so now with doors it's a little bit different when you first um, mouse over the door you're going to notice it doesn't tell you the door style or type it just says left hand out or in or whatever the swing of the door is, right? And if you start clicking on it, you'll notice that it's not changing the door style. It's just changing the swing of the door, right? So basically, by default, um, this tool is for, for man doors. Um, it's actually in the uh, uh, swing mode, okay? So however, um, you can always... Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate here the double double wide door. So we can go, and that's left hand in, and then it's right hand in, and left hand out, and right hand out, and then back to left hand in. Okay, so we've, we can cycle through the different door swings. Um, so now, if we want to change the style, all we have to do is hit the control key, and now you'll notice that um, it says flat four panel, and we go half glass, full glass, pocket door, and solid, and six panel. See, we can cycle through all of the different door styles. So let's say, for instance, we find, okay, we want full glass, and then we want to um, change that door swing. Maybe that's not the right door swing. Well, then we just hit the control key again, and you'll notice it toggles us back to the swing mode. And let's, uh, there, we got the, that's how maybe what we want. Okay, same thing here. Um, right now, we're, we're still in the uh, swing mode. But let's say we uh, change that. Say we want full glass for that door. Hit the control key and go ahead. Okay, now we got that. Now we hit the control key again. And we're going to change that to an inside uh, 
swing. There we go, right hand inside swing. All right, and then just hit the space bar if you want to jump out of the tool, just like any other tool, and there you go. So really a uh, very simple tool, but I think it's uh, very convenient. Um, by default, <clears throat> for doors, um, when you click on it, the first time you click on it, it basically is in uh, swing mode, and it'll change the door swing. And then just by simply hitting the control key, you can go to the uh, style or type mode. But for windows and garage doors, it is always in the type or style mode. There is no uh, swing because there is no uh, window swing or garage door swing. Okay, so that's basically it for this uh, new tool. If you got any questions about it or have any feedback or ways that, you know, other features that you might want to see added to it, um, please uh, email me or uh, even give me a phone call. I'm always open to feedback. And once again, guys, thank you for uh, the support, and we will talk to you guys later.